I think most people would agree that marketing copy or sales presentations would be much more interesting and engaging if they included images. But not just any images. They aren't simply decoration. There's a much deeper meaning behind the use of images in communication. Our brains use images to process information quickly. In my mini course, How to Read Your Customer's Mind, I introduce neuroscience by explaining how we all have an instinctive desire to survive. This is managed inside our brains by a part of it called the limbic system, here, which all mammals have. Our brains have been evolving to be better and better at keeping us alive, and this evolution is happening long before we have even spoken words, let alone written words. Mammalian brains evolved to quickly recognise and process colours and shapes which represent danger, such as these meerkats watching out for hawks above, and the hawk above is reacting to shapes that represent dinner. This processing in our limbic brain happens much faster and in parallel to the processing that's going on in our neocortex, which is the thinking part of the brain, here. Because we have evolved to process images faster, we use imagery in our communication, including speech. I'm sure you've seen films like this clip from Dunkirk. The pilots are using the visual reference of a clock face to describe where the enemy is. If we choose the right images, we can convey our sales and marketing messages much more quickly and with more persuasive power. This isn't confined to actual images on a page or screen. We can also structure our words so that they build images and simulate action in the reader's mind. This is what makes a good novel really compelling, and you can use the same approach in your marketing content and sales pitches. My favourite word in selling is imagine, such as imagine being able to blah blah blah. The audience is very obedient, they can't help but imagine themselves doing what you've described, perhaps using the thing that you are selling. Now this is one of my favourite authors. Now Lee Child is brilliant at creating powerful images around the character Jack Reacher that play like a movie in the reader's mind. Stunned, staggering backwards on stiff legs, desperately trying to stay upright, one foot tracing a lazy half circle in the air and then the other. He came to rest six feet away with his feet firmly planted and his legs wide apart just like a big, dumb capital letter A. Now we know who's who. Let's get this done. Really? 